All right, first things first. I got this Repel 100% DEET. This stuff works well. You don't take much. Don't get it on your skin much. It'll really burn. But I just do my boots a little. And just a little on my pants. Don't take much, like I said. Make sure you're pointing straight. You don't want that on your. Get that on you. Make sure you get your around your soles or your shoes real good. That's the ticks are gonna climb first. This stuff's kind of oily. Now I'll do around my bucket too, and of course my backpack bottom. You want to make sure you do your backpack bottom. So they don't climb up I just kind of do it lightly all over because you never know what you're gonna lean your backpack up against and then make sure you cap that baby off now there's my new water jug it's just a juice jug I, I taped up I double taped the bottom Take the rest for camouflage. Now that double tape bottom keeps that from wearing a hole. When you're riding on a grain or a box car that vibrates, it's gonna eat a hole in the bottom of that that jug fast. But I got a new lid for my look at that how good it spins. Nine bucks at Academy. I had to put a nine layers of tape around it so it fit good. But I missed my UP patch on it. I'll have to take it off and sew it on there. But anyway, we're going to go back in here where it's shady and wait on a train. See, that's another reason I like a backpack that's got a little strap on the back. You can always hang it up somewhere off the ground, keep ticks and bugs from climbing up on it. But I sprayed a little around the bucket and real good on my shoes and pants from knee down even in the dead leaves make sure you cover your legs knee down in some places hip down all right now before we catch a train i was going to show you my shoestring shirt me and jerry are going to come out we took a bunch of pictures of the hobo shadow you know how I always in my videos go, Hobo Shadow. We got some perfect pictures of uh, the Hobo Shadow. And uh, we're going to put them on the merchandise website. They're not ready yet, so don't, don't try to look for them or order them. He's got to make them first. But these shirts are all colors are back up from small to 5X. They're all back up on the website. All the shirts are. All the merchandise is back up online. Even the uh, thermos cup. And I'll dig that out in a bit and show it. Uh, anyway, let me show you down the tracks here. See, we're hid good enough. We're far enough from Rock Road that no one's really going to say anything. Get across this wire fence. See rock lanes around that curve right there. So see where that truck is. That's rock lane. So there'll be something stopping in here pretty soon. We'll catch. Try to ride to Radford. Spend the night. But yeah, see the contrast. How dark it is back in there. Even if I was standing up where I just was, you wouldn't be able to see me until you got right up on me. But anyway, let me dig that cup out and show you. Another thing I want to thank the guy that sent me the battery banks. The two battery banks. Now I already found a little pouch to put them in. They fit in perfect. Now I had two already, but they were starting to get old and wore out. I keep them in the same identical uh, carry bag. And of course, these 
These are not nasty like other power bars. These are my favorite, the Cliff. The peanut butter, I mean the chocolate chip are the best. And of course, uh, crackers. Of course, they tend to fall into sawdust. But we also got the hobo shoestring knives. And they aren't a cheap knife. You can cut through almost anything with these. It's a really good knife, little knife. I'll demonstrate it later. And here is the shoestring cup, 15 ounces. And of course, my binoculars. It's good to carry Nikon or Bushnell. These are big enough that you can see down the track far enough to see what's coming at you. Whether it be a person, cops, or a bull, or what, or what have you. Just an interesting person you're worried about or wondered about. And, of course, comes with the little carrying case and everything. And my little radio's on right now. Uh, just waiting for a response. Yeah, just to give you an idea. I already cut one whack out of it. Really, really sharp knife. You can whittle, get you, make you a stick fish, a fish stick, catch you some, stab you some fish. That's a sharp knife there, though. But that ain't coming off that hobo shoestring on there. But anyway, let's go wait for a train. See what we got coming. I don't hear nothing on the radio. Yeah, the other day, Billy came up here, scared the bejesus out of me. He was in that red shirt, too. I didn't expect to see him. Man, he was right up on me, too, before I knew it. All right, we'll just do some... He's moving pretty fast. He might not be stopping. Ben, I am. He probably ain't gonna stop. He's on the main line, too. Alright, after the DPU is car carrier. That's all he's got left. Well, shooting a poop. Well, like that old saying, there's always another train. We'll get one. At least we got one on video. All right. Get back in my cubby hole. Yep. It's kind of like this when you get a cheap motel. You always want to make sure you elevate your stuff. Get them darn bed bugs. I'm extremely allergic to them. No, nah, he's on the main. He's hauling be But two. He probably ain't stopping. a bunch of rocks. Look at all that dust blowing. Boy, 
Well, you'd look like you'd look like a baker after you got done riding that. Look like you've been baking all day. There's some half, there's some half Cadillac. There's a whole Cadillac. Stop, he had just stopped. Carbon black grainer. Yep, that's going all the way to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania there. Hey. All right, here's another one that was right behind that one. Five minutes behind him. The last scene. He may actually stop. Yeah, he's way too close to that other train to, uh, to be pulling out on the main line. He's got to stop and let him get ahead to him. I sure hope that ain't the bull. They used to drive vehicles like that. Yeah, I found out what was wrong with my camera. I looked at my SD card, 99% full on a 128 gig card. I didn't realize it was holding every single video I ever recorded. I shouldn't have moved up here. Maybe I should have moved back down. Now all these cars will see me walk down with my gear. Yeah, he's gonna stop. Hey, the pink ones. Yep, maybe I can get down there and grab my stuff and walk down, but there's a ride right there. A well car. There's a ride. There's a lot of rides. I'm going to grab my stuff and walk down. All right, I certainly got on. I got on one of them pink ones that went by. See how much room you got down in here to ride? Yep, we're fixing to go. Those cars that were down there turned around, so. Yeah, that train that had went by five minutes ahead, he just didn't have the signal set yet because it was too early for him. He had to wait and pull up a little bit. Now he's got the green to go into Bristol. That one there is the same way. It's got a good hole to ride in. Make sure I got everything. See, it's up to my waist. The only thing I hate about them is passing train. It's like a gondola. Since the main line's on that side, you gotta hide down on this side so they can't see down in. And you gotta peek out real slow just in case there is one coming. I should have picked that other one because these pink ones kind of stand out, but that black car turned around and left so he didn't see me walk down here. See how quiet it is? Yeehaw! Finally riding. Oh, yeah, buddy. See, you can roll out down here just perfectly fine. You ain't 
got to worry about nothing except rain. Now we're back out on the main. Some of, some of these are a little bit higher, but this will work. I was wearing a pink shirt. Everybody's going to be looking at a pink one container, too. I didn't think about that before I got on it. I was just worried about getting on. can see is my camera my head and everything else is down Well, no, never mind. 
kind of harder to hold. My camera lens is on the other end, so it's easier to shoot this way.
make it too much good time because of that other train in front of him. That other train's only like five minutes ahead of this one. That's why it stopped. coming up, I think. I just had my camera up. My face is way down here. across Bruce Avenue before State Line Road because of that other train ahead of him. pulls up past Ash Avenue. Avenue coming up. Come on, stop. 
any time now. I'm going to get the camera shut off. Yeah, this will kind of give you an idea uh, of a ride. What I mean by well car. We call them T12548. See all the room you got down in there? Same with this next one. I'm waiting to cross because there's a dollar store right on the other side of this overpass. Get a cold water. But now you get to the one. See those have ribs down the side. That's how you can tell a lot too. But this one, nah. Heck, you'd get seen so quick up there. Oh no, that's a suicide. Some people actually ride down in there and balance on those beams. That's called riding suicide there. It's a real suicide. And here's one you certainly couldn't ride. You'd get seen in a heartbeat riding there. See, on the other side of that overpass is a dollar store and the Salvation Army is just right over there. I've only seen two cops down here ever. They were down there, I guess, doing paperwork. And there's a old, old camp of mine right in there. Yep, there's a signal letting them know they're fixing to open up into a double, a double line, which the switch is right there. That's where it opens into two lines. And then it opens on up into the yard. But right on the other side of this overpass is a Dollar General. And right there is the old Salvation Army, that building right there. And there's a trail that goes down on the other side. I'm waiting for this train to get out of the way. Because about 20 cars up is uh, Virginia. We're in Tennessee now, but it's still blocking state line road and there's still no way to go across to even to come back uh anyway hey bristol and this place right here is a pharmaceutical company they don't make drugs or anything all they make is the capsules the plastic coating capsules that go on pills the plastic coating that digest wants to swallow it then releases the medicine I wonder if some of them buildings are still enterable like vacant abandoned way to get in and sleep but I still hate sleeping in abandoned buildings I'm always worried some owner or somebody's gonna come in I'd rather sleep out under the stars any day But anyway, yep, and another reason I didn't like riding that one is because something pink like that's going to stand out, and that's going to be the first thing someone looks at. In that little bitty hole I showed you in the floor, if you're not that good of an aim, you're going to have to stand up and tippy-toe in order to, uh, to use the restroom over the side. He's leaving now. I can finally get across and go get a cold ice water. Go back to my gear. See, even those got ribs on them. They look like they're a ride, a wheel car, but they're not. They're suicide on the bottom. You can always tell you look through for the sunshine in the underneath that shows the, the sun is shining through. 
but we're over this bridge where that sun being blocked I'll go up here where the sun is see that sun shining underneath that's how you can tell there's no floor in them see the sunshine coming up underneath each one that's because the sun's shining through the floor they don't have floor you can almost see it in that one there's no floor you got to be real particular that one ain't got no floor either no floor either see if I can get one up please no floor so I was just real lucky on that one He's probably passing that one up in the yard. Now he'll fly. And since he's been taking so long, he, I doubt he'll stop in Radford. He'll stop in Roanoke for sure and crew change. And then Shenandoah, sometimes they'll crew change. Shenandoah, Virginia, and then Hagerstown, and then Harrisburg. There's, yep, that one's not even a ride, even though he's got ribs. And they're filled up anyway. Now these, we call these Vikings, like the old Viking ships, because you can ride up there. You can ride up there pretty good and hit. We call them Viking ships. Like the old Viking ships kind of look like. But everybody that's a rider knows that. This is nothing new to anybody. And I doubt very serious anybody watching a train video is gonna wanna try it just because somebody else did it. There's some more Vikings. See the spot up here. That's my favorite I am ride. comes his DPU and then he's got auto racks not many it doesn't look like but it's easy because they can unhook the DPU here and then haul those auto racks to a different place have some cool graffiti on these auto racks but it must cost a lot of money to for the paint to paint and the time and the security while no one's watching to do it yeah he's probably pulling up to that north light too because he's slowing down Oh, he was just on that curve down there. I thought that was the end of him, but... Oh, I guess it is the end of him. That takes some talent there. There's the last car.
let's go grab some gear and the dollar store is just right down there and there's the old Salvation Army yeah that's where I just was there's that tank across the tracks there's Salvation Army there's that little foot trail I was telling you about That's what I like about these Rockies. They sure grip good, even in the sand. Ooh. Boy, if you fell and busted an elbow, you'd know it. Especially one that's been rebuilt already. I'm glad I put some of that 100% deed on already. Yep, the dollar store is just right up there. Yep, see along the side of the bill the bridge here? There's a trail that goes down to the dollar store. I'll stop the camera and start it when I get right at the foot of the bridge all right see we're at the foot of the bridge now there's the dollar store right there and an easy little path to get down there Anyway, that's all she blows. I found a good shady spot. Well, I got two cold waters. It's a hundred percent water. Wait a minute, it's not a hundred percent water. It's a hundred percent recycled bottle. Oh wow! Like I needed to know that. Why don't they put the real number on the rest of the bottles? 3% per, uh, recycled bottle. 13% recycled bottle. And got two of those cold. This I never heard of, and I don't drink much soda, like I said, so I'll drink a third of it before I go to bed. A third in the morning and third sometime tomorrow. I've never heard of this one before. It looks like cherry or something. But anyway, I gotta get some water in me. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video.